Get to making with Jive Boy Station. When it hits you, yeah. Good morning, Bougie Duchess here, running a little late with my makeup tutorial, having to do things really, really quickly. Would like to give a shout out to my girlfriend, Sabrina, who gave me some wonderful tips about trying to get really close up on the face. So today's makeup tutorial is going to be a little bit of different. Also, there's some changes going on to the, the channel. Um, this morning's uh, morning cup of coffee series has been ch changed officially. The name change is going to be called Café con Leche, out of tribute to my Latino heritage. And uh, so I hope you like some of the subtle changes that are going on to the channel. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a quick makeup tutorial. Um, of course, I've got the made in glitter or I dream in glitter bag all set up here and um, going to just use some staple items that I always kind of use and uh, and I'll show them to you prior to application and um, so you know this morning I, I have a very, very sensitive topic. Uh, it, it, it means a lot to me that we start uniting behind some of the, these conversations. Uh, I personally am not a big fan of the kind of division that's going on in our country. Uh, I like to think of all of us as Americans and not as Latino American, white American, black American, all of that subdivision that tends to go on in our society, I think only succeeds in dividing us nationally. And um, I've never been a big fan of the dividing of the country. Um, Although it just keeps continuously happening and well, what can you do except engage in these conversations and pray that some understanding comes from the whole situation. And uh, of course, I, I believe that that is what we are looking for here, is that some understanding happens. Okay, so let's see. Let me get organized here. Two very important brushes. Da da. This one spreads pigment and color around on your face. This one spreads powder. Cover stick. For an older girl, it's a necessary evil. You see these dark brown circles around my eyes? They started appearing a little bit after 35 and have been here for the last 20 years. Do the math and you'll figure out just how old I am. Okay. Oh. There we go. Spreading that all around, just like that. Now, I think it's always important to have a, a skin regimen. So I uh, wash this morning with, a, I use a St. Ives citrus wash. And, uh, and then I finish off my face with a collagen vitamin E oil treatment. There we go. Just like that. Okay, the next thing I like to do is I spread some mineral powder around real quick like, here we go, some mineral powder and I, of course, cover the area where I put the cream stick because that helps set that really well and then spread mineral powder all across the face so that it evens out 
any other blemishes or tones that I may have going on. And I spread, spread this stuff on pretty thick and liberally. Now, I should have probably put down a little napkin collar because I have a black collar on, but I will dust that off before I go on camera for our Hot Topic segment this, uh, later today. It's at noon. Be sure to turn in for that. It's going to be an explosive little topic. Okay, and I tend to, when I paint a face, I do it systematically. So, first thing I'm gonna do is the brow. And I like a nice dark brown pencil. And I usually go along with the few hairs that I have there, I, I go along with that, along the brow line. So, and I, I, you know, usually lightly and just little tiny strokes. You see how that starts to darken in like that? And, uh, and I start building. There we go. And I pull out towards the end. There we go. And then, and I like a nice arch. See the difference? Do the same thing over here. And like I said, you know, just little, little tiny strokes. You see how I'm emulating little hairs? Just like that. And I like a nice cream pencil in order to do all of this. If I think I do a little error, just a little white there might help. And I like for them to look like sisters. They don't have to be identical twins. But they do have to look like family. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Pretty close. There's a little dip going on here that I'm not crazy about. And there. I think I'm kind of done. Hmm. I think this one looks a little shorter, so I'm gonna bring some more dimension in towards the bridge of the nose. There we go. Okay, can't keep going too deep into all of that. All right, now let me find perfect for spreading eye, la eye, eye, eye shadow around. I'm a big fan of the natural tones, but maybe one of these days I'll start spreading some color around. And I just go right along the brow bone, just like that. And I'm doing a real quick job of it. Okay, there we go, you see, bam. Same thing on the other one. Ta-da! Put that color down like that. Alrighty. Gonna put some 
Some splash on the eyelids. I really do like for my eyelids to sparkle and glitter a little bit. So put down this liquid, it's called liquid uh, glitter eyeliner. And I just paint it all across the entire eyelid. And today I'm going to use this as a base on my eyelid and I'm going to follow it up with another product that I bought from L'Oreal. Here it is, and it's a gold glitter. Ooh, and I'm hoping that putting this on top of the other is really gonna give it some pop. Oh, and I see that just exploding there. And the other day, I used this on my lips, which really, gave uh, my lips some bedazzle and I really like that look and I like what it's doing to my eyelid so I just discovered a new little technique that I'm going to be employing from here on out There we go. All righty. Go. Okay. So that gives the, the eyelids some real serious pop. Really fine brush. I'm gonna paint all along here and start doing some nice blending and uh, just try and give a natural look and blend to everything. here now doing the same thing and I take and I blend it all the way down into the bridge of the nose and all the way out here the very end and I pull it down by the corners of the eyes just like that here we go eyes done now Remember the little trick I taught you with the liquid liner? I always use my little three fingers here and to brace my hand as I lightly go right across my eyelashes and start putting down some liquid liner. You see how that it just makes it easy as can be. Make sure there's plenty of liquid liner on the brush. And you do the entire eye first from corner to corner. Just like that. See there? That. And 
and then I always say be very careful about the little cat eye look. I go for something that's just, you know, slightly there. Don't, you don't have to get too dramatic. You don't want to look like a drag queen on stage. Although I know how to do that too. You just want to look like a pretty woman. You know, Julia Roberts kind of pretty. That kind of girl. And we're all just trying to be a Julia Roberts on a Sunset Boulevard kind of life. There we go. And you know, I, I use the table to brace my elbow a little bit. You can even use your other hand. I think when you're doing this, you need to be as stable as possible in putting down the eyeliner. There we go, all the way to the end. And then, like I said, just a little little bit of a cat eye look. There we go. All right. There we go. Now moving along. There we go. Let's start getting that mascara on. Wait, I think one eyeliner looks a little thicker than the other eyeliner. Thanks, Liz. So I grab it and touch up the other eye just like this, thickening that line up just a little bit more. There we go. And that that's pretty easy enough to do. There we go. All right. Now on to the mascara. Hi Danny, we're painting our eyes. Get your makeup out, girl. All right, and remember the trick. Brush, 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 and then zigzag in down to the base of the eyelid. See how I'm lifting that eyelid right up and extend it out. Brush, brush, brush. Get a hold of that eyelid, zigzag down in there. Pull and brush it out. Brush, brush, brush. I even do it with the corner and start zigzagging. Do the same thing over here on this side. Brush, 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 zigzag, zigzag. Brush, 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 zigzag, zigzag. See how I catch that and pull it right out. That way you really get the mascara on there and uh, it really looks like thick eyelashes when I get done with it. But uh, my last tutorial, makeup tutorial, I believe I showed you how to apply falsy eyelashes. And I think, you know, as uh, the year goes on, uh, we'll do some more eyelash applications and, and show you how to strategically put those eyelashes on. You don't have to necessarily put them right where, where you think they go to get the look that you want to get. So there we go. There we go. But you gotta be careful with all of this because one good stick in the eye and the eye starts to water and it all goes to hell in a handbasket just that fast. Oh, you only use Avon. You know, back in the day, uh, this was a long time ago, I was friends with uh, uh, somebody in Dallas uh, who uh, was uh, well connected to the Mary Kay product line. And uh, I, I loved her makeup. I mean, that makeup was durable and, uh, and just some of the best makeup I've ever used. So let's, uh, let's start doing the, the, the highlighting of the cheekbones. I, I like using a glitter highlighter. 
and I, I just paint it right on there along the top of my cheekbone. Same thing on the other side. It helps cover a little bit of rosacea that I've got going on. That condition kind of developed, I think, in my alcoholism, but really predominantly started to flare up in my recovery. Alrighty. And I blend some of that in. I blend some of that down the bridge of my nose and, the, and my chin because a little, little bit of sparkle never hurt anybody. That's right. And now I contour it with a little darker kind of cream. Hi, Lilac, how are you? Okay, and now I'm going to apply a darker underneath the highlight, just like that, you see? And I like using a cream because then later on, I the mineral powder that I dust everything with will help set that right down there. And it's, it will last all day long. I mean, I paint a face and I really don't have to touch, do any touch up or anything like that the entire rest of the day. There we go. And I use some of this color. There we go. And I spread it down here. You know, older girls, we have those jowls going on. And you know, this, this helps that look. Spread it down. There we go. Alrighty, that's done. I'm gonna do one more dusting of the mineral powder over everything. There we go, there we go. That helps set that cream. There we go, one more time. Alrighty, now let's do something with these lips. And then I have to start rearranging the studio so that I can get ready for my hot topics. I hope you come back and join me at noon. It's going to be explosive. We are um, certainly talking about race and, um, and just the thing that happened down in Georgia in February and the recent arrest behind it all. Um, I will get into deeper details during Hot Topics. Um, my co-host, Cindy, has got some personal feelings about it. <sighs> I've got some personal feelings about it. It is just a horrendous situation. Um, anyway, please join us. I'm going to use a nice, lovely, iridescent pink I like a lip gloss. I don't really use a lot of color. Um, so, and I try and go for a very natural kind of look. I put plenty of it down. Okay, let me find my lip brush. I swear by one of these things. If you don't have one, you should get one. It's perfect for spreading color around and outlining your lips. There we go. I try and stay along the natural contour of my lips. Although, anytime I've ever wanted to be dramatic with my look, and there's been times I've been dramatic with the look. Just a second, let me grab a paper towel. Should have had one handy, but I didn't. Thank God I hadn't made a mistake until now. Um, here we go. Take that off of there. And now I'm going to put a little bit of gold on the lips again. I 
because like I said, I like that little pop of color. There we go. So I put a little bit of gold on the tip there. You see that? And I'm gonna take and blend that in to the pink that's already down. Look at that, nicely done. And I'm done with the makeup tutorial. All that's left is the hair. And I think that's not going to be much of a problem because I've got plenty of it. And uh, thanks for joining me for my makeup tutorial. I want you to have a fantastic day. Join us at noon for Hot Topics. And uh, nobody's told you that they love you today. The Bougie Duchess loves you. Goodbye now. <laughs>